Well, great morning, everyone. Um, this morning, I wanted to pull some cards on uh, Putin and Russia. I haven't looked at that for a while. And what I have over it all is the shadow and the mystery. So uh, the overarching thing is about, you know, why he has been such a shadow type figure um, and just, you know, putting out his drama to the people of Russia. So what we have at the center, we have that strong-minded Russian mentality, okay? Very, um, very strong mental ideations. And underneath of it, they see him as having been very impulsive, his impulsivity and his, you know, wanting to control the power, of course, in Russia, but in a very impulsive way. Uh, going into it, people are feeling backed up, okay? They're on the edge. The friends are now having a new vision, okay? So people are waking up and really uh, seeing Putin's uh, ineffectiveness, etc. What's going on now are new messages. Again, messengers, people are talking about escape, okay? Escaping the drama that he's brought on them. So there's a new message. This could be also Putin wanting to escape because everything is coming around now uh, for them to see what he's been doing. The challenge is the people and his decisions. He's done this like a game and has sacrificed so many, okay? So the people are looking at these sacrifices. Uh, now, remember when he said at the beginning they were liberators and this is going to be over soon and they're going to throw flowers. They're, we're, we're the liberators of this country. They've been taken over by Nazis, etc. Well, that did not happen. And so the clarification is what's coming down the pike now that the people see this toxic assertion that he did with the country. So many young men died uh, because of his toxicity and his assertions of sending them into battle without the proper things and just having railroaded them. So things for him are getting hung up, okay? looking at the history of what he's done. People are looking at their resourcefulness, what they have. Uh, underneath of it still, we have, let's see, losses by what? Putin. Losses by Putin. Now, this is my card of the narcissist, whether it's Putin, whether it's 45, whether it's Kim Jong-un, these all have that same type of authoritarian mentality. So he is getting hung up, facing losses, and he is wanting to, um, things may be moving when it comes to uh, what he has done, what he has promoted, what he has sold, and the hidden things are coming out, and the people are feeling very, um, mentally uh, disconcerted with what he has done and how he has tried to hold on to power and what he's tried to get away with. And now he may be trying to extricate himself uh, from this. And people are seeing, uh, you know, just what they've been given and they want to take over the power now. So it is not looking good for Putin. Um, it looks like people are waking up and getting ready uh, to revolt 
and take the country back um, from this man that has been so toxic uh, for the people. So we'll have to see what happens with that, but it is not looking good for Putin. Okay, because again, strong-minded country, people are feeling on the edge. There are messages coming out. The challenge is the people and what is coming down the pike, and they are really uh, not happy with what has happened, what um, Putin has brought on them. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, so I think I'm going to pull some cards again. Don't forget this was about the shadow, the mystery of what he has done, why he has done it. You know, he wanted to become the, like the great czar. He wanted to bring Russia back together. That He wanted that, that legacy. And what he's brought is just absolute destruction and loss of life in Russia. So I think I'm going to pull cards and see what about a revolt? What about a revolt happening now in Russia? Now, I've felt that for a long time, that the people are going to rise up against him. We have, yes, charging forward a breakthrough, and underneath of it, of love, breakthrough of love. People love Russia, illuminating, okay? Seeing, seeing things for how they are. So let's see what we have here. The people apparently love Russia, okay? Uh, but I don't think this is a love of Putin himself, it's just a love for their country and uh, who they are as a people, etc. So let's see what we have. What about the people rising up against Putin? At the center of it, we have, yeah, this is usually my card for the White House, but this could also be Putin in charge, the government, um, the established government. Going into it, we have that they see this needs to go away, that he has distanced himself actually from doing the best for Russia. Uh, now people are looking what they still have that they can hold on to. What do they have? Uh, what's of value for them to hang on to as a people? The challenge is wanting a victory. And the clarification is looking at um, how to go forward, how to interact with the world. Um, and they're looking at the lies and the fish tales that he has told. Okay, so let's see what else we have with this. Oop, 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 oop. Drop, dropping cards. Sorry, Mick, Mick. <laughs> he said it's raining cards on me. Okay, so when we have the control of the government, they're looking at the long-held secrets and information, uh, more direct knowledge coming in about, um, about Putin and the control of the government and uh, what has been hidden. Okay. And the foundation is they have endured. Okay. They, they feel like Putin has had a stranglehold on them. Okay. Uh, so let's see what we have when it comes to his um, walking away, distancing himself emotionally from the people. It's key. It's key and ostentatious. Ostentation. So they see the key that what he has done 
that he's been out for himself and his own legacy and drama and not really caring for the people. So what they are holding on to is this is their uh, difficulty. This is the cross to bear now um, when it comes to holding on to themselves. And they see that he has used uh, flattery with them. He has not been honest with them, okay? And they've endured his ostentatiousness and his flattery and his drama. Now, the challenge is, of course, the victory of the people, okay? People standing up to have a victory by assertion. So they're looking at the fact if they want a victory, they have to assert themselves, okay? Um, the clarification is looking at him and they see the toxic nature that has been there. They're looking at going forward and the friendship, who they can really be in alignment with, okay? So they're birthing something new. They know it's going to take sacrifice and they see that many of their people have been sacrificed and they're looking at the lies and the drama that he has put out um, that they were just blinded to for a time. They're looking at, I think this is the whole system of like the uber right type of mentality, the oligarchs and, and Putin, etc., the abuses of power. And now the karma card is coming, the wheel is turning, and they want to gain strength for a new mentality. And in order to secure that, they have to move forward rapidly and they're looking at all of the things that he has had up in the sky, the dramas, and they want justice. So it looks like they are going to have an uprising against Putin, Putin's regime. And again, they want to have a breakthrough to love. They want to get rid of this extremism that Putin has had in place. Um, when it comes to Russia, uh, because they value their culture, they value their people, and it looks like at this point in time, they've had enough of Putin and um, can see the things that he was putting out have been lies. People have been lied to. Um, so many of their people have died and come back and tell them what's actually going on in Ukraine. And it doesn't bear any resemblance to what Putin had been telling them about they were going there and being liberated and being hugged and kissed and given flowers and this and that. And they come back and find out, no, that's not the case at all. We are the aggressors and uh, we're given nothing to fight with. So uh, it looks like it's time for an uprising of the people when it comes to Putin. While we're on this, let's look at Zelensky. I haven't looked at Zelensky for a while and Ukraine. What's going on with Zelensky and Ukraine? You have to admire Zelensky. He was a comedian and he's really done the best that he can in this situation. Uh, we have outside the box. He thinks outside the box and joy, okay? So I think that this has to do with, not that he's real thrilled with all the stuff that's happening, that he's had to have this fight, but he's just a outside the box and he is a um, upbeat type of a person okay um, unlike Putin we have the shadow there here we have a person of joy a person of integrity you know that wants to move things forward 
and he'll do it in the best way he can, um, thinking outside the box. Okay, so let's look and see what we have here when it comes to Zelensky. Okay, at the center of it, we have the people are rallying around him. Okay. I'm going to pull the other cards here and just do it this way this time. They're rallying around him. Um, friends, he's got a lot of people that believe in him that are rallying, supporting as much as possible. I think they're seeing some progress. But there's also been the losses, okay? Um, so it's a big concern on both sides. Those that are not giving up, rallying around him. He's looking for the friends, the people that he can count on. And he also understands the loss. And also above it, we have like the um, need to have good government, okay? So continuing to rally the people. Going into it, we have still uh, club in hand, putting that energy out there, charging forward. He's not stopping, um, saying perhaps light at the end of the tunnel, something new is coming up. Um, and sometimes he feels isolated because he has a lot of stuff on his shoulders. Um, he has real care for the country, and uh, I don't think there's anyone that can really, he's got a lot of pressure on himself is what it is, but he continues to charge forward. What's going on now, he's still contemplating how to move forward, where to put the energy, his interaction with the world, etc. And above, wanting to have it this ended. Bringing this, wanting to bring it to its conclusion. And looking at the choices that have to be made. How that's kind of hindered things. Um, but he's still willing to make the choices and continue forward. Okay, The challenge is, yeah, dealing with... Putin, dealing with this negativity, dealing with this um, drama that's there, and moving it forward. And the quarrels, the, the stuff still there. That's the challenge. The challenge is still dealing with this negative entity and drama that he's brought um, clarification is the close mindedness not seeing the history okay. the history and submission Okay. So there is a bit of a detachment there. Uh, underneath of it all, we have, you know, the lies and the things. He's trying to keep this stuff balanced. It's still a big burden. Feels that um, has has um, really. Uh, gone through this abuse, this difficulty. They're out in the cold um, financially, and um, some of the things people maybe have lost a bit of faith. It's difficult. There's still this fight going on, and the Pandora's box of dealing with this strong arm mentality. He wants this to end, and he sees this as a tower moment. Of course, he wants to get to a better place. 
and hold on to power and bring some light and some new energy out there to go forward for the future to be able to move it forward. So, yeah, Zelensky is trying to, again, stay as positive as he can, but many times, you know, he's also feeling the loss. The people are still rallying around him, um, and he's got a lot on his shoulders, okay, and doing the best that he can do and continuing forward. But the main thing is this dark, you know, ideology that and this unwillingness when it comes to Russia and stuff to see. Um, so he's still having to deal with that at the moment. So uh, hopefully, you know, people take over in Russia and they will be much more um, willing to, to talk with uh, and work things out with Ukraine. I think once Putin is gone, that they will want to um, come to terms with Ukraine and to move forward to a better relationship and put this past uh, behind them and try to get on with living and life. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here, and we'll see you online.